What's up y'all, it's your boy Reggie Beats, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a custom beat selling website. I could go on and on about the benefits of having a custom beat selling website but on this video I'll just focus on making the site. If you want to know about the benefits, there's a link in the description below, click on that and let's get started. So we're gonna be using WordPress and you know with WordPress to make it easier for yourself you gotta use a theme so you're gonna use a theme that is called the UI theme. So this UI theme is made by bitstore.co. There's a link in the description below. Just click on it if you want to get started. You get a seven day free trial and this is very cheap. You know what I'm saying? It's like $4 a month, I think. Let me see. So just click on buy now. Yeah, it's $5 a month and you can pay $32 annually or $99 for a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you, but I'm gonna go with $4 a month and remember you also get what? A free trial. So I'm gonna enter my details here, enter my email, so that I can just sign up. Okay, and then my name, and my surname, and then yeah, I'm gonna confirm the email. Continue, I'm gonna pay with PayPal, you can just pay whatever you wanna pay with, but you're gonna get charged now because it's a seven day free trial. Okay, cool, so now once you're done, you're gonna go check your email. You know, so we're gonna go to the email just to check if we get the confirmation code for the theme. So you're gonna get this email as well that says thanks for subscribing. It is your theme where you can download it and it also has your uh, activation key as well for the theme. So just download the theme, click on download the theme professional version. So now we're gonna go to our WordPress setup. If you don't have WordPress setup already, just click on the link below or click on the pop-up up there. Hopefully it works. And I'll show you quick steps on how to do it right quick, then get back to the video. So I'm gonna go to appearance, select themes, add a new theme, upload theme, select choose file, and we're gonna go select the file that we downloaded. Then install now. Okay, cool, the theme is installed. Just click on activate. Okay, now you're gonna have to copy and paste your license. So you're gonna go back to your email and copy your license. I'm gonna copy mine, I'm gonna paste it, and then you're gonna try and you're gonna click activate license. Okay, cool, now it's active. So now you see here it says UI suggests installing three plugins. You have to install them because previously I didn't install them and then my website didn't work properly. So just click on manage suggested plugins that you're gonna click install this one. So the ones where they say get plugin, you can just go and edit uh, the automatic way because this will send you to the website and then you have to download it manually, but we don't want to do that. So once you're done, just click activate. Now we need to get advanced custom fields plugin. So I'm going to copy this and also the key key toolkit. I'm going to go to add new. Then paste that, then search, install this custom fields. It's done. We're also gonna search for key 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 key. We click on add new and then go search for the I think I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Key key toolkit. And then so I wonder which one it is here. So I'm just gonna use this one. Because previously it installed in a different way. Then you're gonna activate. Okay, cool. So now let's see if this worked because Let's check is activated. Now we must go to click on UI theme and click visit site. Boom, there you go. Here's your website. It's already set up for you. You know what I'm saying? Now what you have to do is that you gotta edit a couple of things and make it custom to you. So as you can see here, there's customize. Click on that customize so I can show you what I mean. I like how easy it is to set it up. You know what I'm saying? Once you know what you're doing, it's just so easy for you to get it up and going. Just click on front page, select by page banner, and then this is the text here. So if I want to change it to your name, I'm gonna say Reggie Beats. See, I'm gonna say Reggie Beats. Oh, 
home of the test trap beats. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go back. And if there's anything that I want to change, well, the CTA is this call to action. So if you want to put something else here, you can replace this. Maybe you can say, uh, yeah, so, so far it's good to go. I mean, so far I can literally just put a bit here and then get going. Okay, now we can check out, let's say the pricing table, which is down here, you know, you can add mp3 lease you can add you know uh wave lease or premium as you can see they have written here so so mp3 lease you can make it 30 dollars and then you got uh premium lease make it 50 dollars you got you know let's say track out and then make it 200 you see they add so if you say you want to add uh the features of the lease maybe you can say yeah type here mp3 and add another one maybe you can say 1000 streams you see so you can add this for all of them so you can see how how nice and easy they made it shout out to beat store for making this so nice and simple so now let me show you how to upload a beat it's very simple as well so as you can see there's no beats right now it's just a plain website and i'll go back to the dashboard then you're gonna go to downloads and add new so downloads is where your beats are I add new and then we'll say example one and then we'll just say maybe we'll say very dope beat it slaps it slaps okay all right cool so now here by download prices, download options is where you're going to add your pricing. So you, you have to click here where it says enable var var variable pricing. And then you're going to add, let's say three, let's say if it's MP3 wave and exclusive, or you can add four for exclusive. So the first one, you can name it MP3 lease, wave lease, depending on how many you have, the exclusive lease. And then you can put the prices. I'm just clicking because I've put them before. So that's why they're just here. Those are my prices. Okay, now we're here on the files. So you're gonna first assign these files to the licenses and the prices we've created above. So the first file is the MP3. And here you're gonna either upload the MP3 or you can just use a link from Dropbox or anywhere. And then you assign this to MP3. Okay, now we've got the wave. So you can either upload or just link your MP3 and WAV file here because you know when you sell a WAV license, you give them the MP3 and the WAV. Well, that's how I do it. And then you just select the WAV list as well. And then you add a track outs or unlimited or stems. Then you also add the link there and then you just select unlimited. Okay, then once you're done there, you're gonna go down to here where you're gonna put in your tagged beat. That's the one that's going to play on the beat store. So I'm just going to add one here. Let's just go look for one of my beats. So at least something can play, you know. So let's see. Tag the MP3. All right. Put in that one. Okay. Click on select. Now I'm going to put the BPM. Let's say it's 130. And then here on the side, I'm gonna put the image, you know, the picture of the beat. I'll just look for any picture on my computer. And then here is the genre. I can just add, let's say hip. Let me just say trap. Or you can add any genre you want, just where this beat falls and they could fall on the trap, hip hop and stuff. Even the download tag so the download tags the beat tag so if it is a let's say maybe a freestyle can say freestyle beats or something you know and yeah so that's what you have to add and then for me you can just publish it now we can go view the site just look on your eye theme we're gonna go to visit site then boom here's our beat here you can play it
We're gonna go down lows then back to settings and then you select payments and then you select PayPal and then you go to PayPal there. Then you're gonna connect your PayPal to your account and then you're good to go. So before we complete, let's just change the name. I'm gonna go to customize. You're gonna go to site identity. The name I'll just call it Beats. And then I'll just say buy beats. And site icon, I'll just go look for any picture. I'll just use this one. Just, just to show now, you know what I'm saying. It's a very nice design though, you know, it's a bit pack that I'm working on. The link will be in the description below. I like the way it looks. Then just crop image. Okay, cool. There it is, the small one. Do you see it? Okay. All right, you can also change the logo and put uh, your image. Because currently it's just this one, you can put any image you want. But then, yeah, that's how it is. And you can also add sound kits and chatbots on this website. So, for this part one, I'm gonna end it here. So, if you learned a lot from this, please click. If, if you learned. Okay, so we just reached the end of the video. And thank you guys for watching. And hopefully, you learned how to make a custom bit selling website that you can grow the more you grow. Because as a producer, you need to grow. And I'm also kind of thinking to come back with a part two video of a continuation, depending on how you guys receive this video, because bitstore.co just released a plugin that you can use to integrate bit licenses to a bit selling website. The link is in the description below. But if you guys like this video, I'll definitely make a video about that too. And then we grow and get this money. Let's get them out. Peace.